Hi Scorpio, welcome to your life after the retrograde forecast. Now this is only for singles, okay? Although if you're, you know, if you're already married and this resonates with you, then good. Anyway, I'll be doing five different um, spread using five different decks. The past, present, the issue, and future outcome. What do I need to learn? My greatest strength and weakness. How do I find love? My priorities right now. Alright. Let's do the first spread. Hmm. This is your current issue. Current blockage. This is your past issue. Past blockage. Yeah. Future outcome. And these are your clarifications. Now, Scorpio looks like you're very successful to your career right now, okay? And there are some things in your life that you've already forgotten how to look back and, you know, like, um, you thought that you would just set it aside for a little while and then you got busy with your job, you got busy with your career and you became so successful. Now, with all of this success of course that when you know when you're at the top and <clears throat> when people can see that they can benefit something from you those people will come to you like ants okay will be marching in your life and you'll be like a magnet for them now you've already forgotten how to dissipate or how to filter those people who are for real and not for real okay and this is your current blockage lying now i feel like you're just trying to portray to other people that you're happy even though you're not on the inside that at the end of the day you're being surrounded you know after being surrounded by a lot of people but when you get home nobody's waiting for you and that is really a very sad scenario okay that you've been working and working and working and yes let's say for example that you're already in your 40s to 50s and if you feel like <clears throat> when you were younger You've already had that with your, you know, with the wife of your kids, with your former spouse, but it did not really work out well. And you felt so happy that by the time that you have acquired your freedom, you got the chance to do whatever you want. But right after that freedom, it comes with the price of being lonely and isolated. You know? So, your past blockage, sorry, your past issue was money. Being financially stable, having that fame and popularity that been, you've been dreaming about, the stability, rising to the top and reaching the top and being too competitive. And your past blockage was you've been wondering or you wondered and you it's like you mapped out on how to achieve that dreams how to reach at the top and how will you acquire those and this is you know this is actually what happened to you you became very successful which is good right after all the hurt and pain that you have been through which is you know it's just normal it's just natural for you to really think that there are some people who will be coming to you when you are, you know, when you are um, successful. But know who are the people that's for real or not, the genuine friends or not. Because what if you're going to be stripped off from your success? Do you think that those people who still, you know, surrounding you and acting like they're so close to you will be there? Or will still be there? Or when you call them, will, still, will they still be available? You know? And this is your main thing. Friendship. Companionship. Being close to people who really counts, genuine people. So, this is your clarification. There will be, um, like a great turn of events, which is, I feel like this is like a lesson to learn. That there will be some friends that will be showing their real color or their true color to you. That you will know that this is not. You know that's not really for real that's these people are not you think they are 
and they will be showing their envy, their their jealousy, and their angst in life because they're gonna be like throwing some innuendos in your face, and and you feel like, wow, you know, where did it came from? Like, um, why are you telling me this now? You know. You were under that false impression that these people are your real friends or the people who's actually, you know, true to you. But the problem here is, I feel like you just need to be a little bit more, you know, you just need to be a little bit more, um, what do you call this? Um, be more open to, you know, to people who can be really like a hypocrite in front of you know their real intentions and not because the people smile sweet be sweet and charming and be be uh, you know like um what do you call this be um like they're trying to be close to you they're saying all this sweet praises and stuff like that doesn't mean that they're really real okay you need to distinguish the um the um the real person from the right person the real friend from the wrong friend okay because you've been so like you were already used to this you know like uh, success and it's already drowning you it's changing you so what do you actually need to learn And these people that you actually call friends are the one who will be ruining you. The one who will be bringing you down. You know that saying that um, if you can't beat your enemies, try to get closer to them. Okay. You can't beat them, join them. Make your friends close, but make your enemies closer. So that is the uh, agenda of the so-called friends around you. Now, what do you actually need to learn? And some of you, actually, <clears throat> some Scorpios have let down an air sign in the past. It really counts. Because if you, like, your friends are right, your friends are like this. Your friends are just trying to... Pull you away from the right connection, from the right kind of crowd, and you know, and you believe them because you thought that they are really your friends. But then, you have to, you know, it's like any friend, any good friend, won't really pull you away from people who's really concerned about you and who won't be breaking your relationship apart. Instead, that they will be advising you some healthy advices. You know, instead of um, instead of um, telling you that, uh, yeah, I just find someone else to sleep with someone else so that you can try that this is what you really want. If you really want to stay in that relationship, if you really want to marry that guy, you know, and stuff like that. You know the right from wrong, but you always go along with the crowd, you know. Anyway... <clears throat> Anyway, so this is the uh, the things that you need to learn about lo love, learn about life, and about your dreams and ambitions. Now, like what I said, okay, in a relationship, it needs um, both ways to work. It can't always be about your needs. It can't always be the other person's needs. You need to give and take. Now, for some of you who's been with an earth sign in the past, and you did not really end it up well because there has been too many influences bickering back and forth, bantering, and you've been like, um, it's like... I don't feel like you were broken up by a third party, but you were broken up by the wrong belief, wrong mindset, and, you know, like wrong people around you. That you should know. <clears throat> you're the one who should make your own decision, and you're the one who should see your own judgment instead of others. Instead of letting you others make the decision for you, letting them rule your life, manipulate your life, and... 
you're acting like that, um, you know, like a girl in high school that there are some bully groups or groups of um, bullies that they're going to befriend you and they're going to be including you in their circle that you thought that they are really your friends. But little did you know that they're only trying to play around with you or manipulate you because they can see your potential and they hate it when they see somebody who's happy. Okay, so in this, you should actually learn how to make your own decision, how to see the truth for yourself, and how to learn how to balance things on your own, okay? And I feel like this, uh, the relationship that you actually let go is the one that really counts, you know? Now, what you need to learn about life. Like what I said, that there are some people who will try to be close to you. Okay, who will try to act like your friend, your bestest friend. Okay. But there are some people who will try to get close to you because they want to ruin you. This is what you need to learn. You love being outgoing. You love being out there. Okay. You love... Um being the center of the crowd and you feel like sometimes when people gather around you yes you're popular you're known you're loved you're charming you're very smart you know that's why people see you as a threat and they you have a lot of potentials okay you have a lot of things in mind and you have a lot of you know you have a lot of um what do you call this? Uh, things that they wanted, but they don't have it. All right. Now, and one more thing, okay? Let me go back to the love first. One more thing: if there has been some bad influences, and then the other p person feels so frustrated over you, and feels so frustrated in. I'm sorry, this cold is really bothering me. Anyway, um, if the other person feels so... Um, feels so frustrated and expressing themselves, explaining themselves, and telling you that, No, why are you doing this? Why are you listening to other people? This relationship is all about us, blah, 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 blah. And then the other person will just feel like, Oh my god, you know, this is really hopeless. So, there goes the temptation. Okay? When you try to close down yourself and when you try, this is, you know, for those relationships that wasn't really broken up by um, a real third party, okay? That the third party just came later on after the influence. So having the third party before the influence is already a different story, okay? So the, the thing that I'm talking about right now is if you've been like broken up by influences, okay? And then there goes the temptation. Because the other person feels so frustrated and they are just looking for somebody to vent out, somebody to comfort them, somebody to listen to them, and somebody that they will just, you know, say, like, it's a good thing that you understand me, you know? I really appreciate you listening to me, but my wife, my husband, judges me, you know, just like that. Which is, I don't even know why he or she is doing this to me. So, sometimes... Listening to other people and letting other people run your life, run your relationship. <clears throat> you know, it's like, don't let other people manipulate you. And when you try to wall yourself up, you push the, the other person away. <clears throat> you can't control other people's actions or decisions. But you can only control yours. And through your reaction, through the things that you throw, and through the things that you reflect on other people, that is how you can control them. Alright? And those people that's been, like, throwing some, you know, opinions, and, yeah, do this. No! You know, like, shut your door, go to the other room, and you're, when you're having a fight, don't talk to them, you know, stuff like that. When you do that, you know, when the other person feels so hurt and in pain and they feel so 
heavily burdened, then they're gonna start looking for another hole to breathe. You know? And then that's the time that the uh, the confusion comes in. And then you will be questioning, why is it like this? He's not really talking to me anymore. Before, we, we were not gonna sleep um, if, uh, you know, if we're not gonna fix things up. Before, he's gonna try and woo me. Or before, when I open up the door in our bathroom, there's all the flowers in it. But now, it's, it, there's, it's gone. You know, like, we don't even talk anymore. He doesn't look at me anymore. He's changed. He's too distant and cold. He always comes home late and stuff like that. So, of course, at those signs that... And then the other people will say, Ah, that's a sign of infidelity. Do this, do that. Okay? So... The thing that actually ruins your plans, you as yourself... And your relationship is actually because of other people. You know? And you're not really doing yourself a favor. You're not doing your relationship a favor if you do that. Now, what you need to learn about life. You're successful. And that is really a great blessing. Okay? But you need to filter. And you need to start... Uh and you need to sift them. You know when you make bread or when you put the flour in the um, strainer and then you sift the flour just to purify it and just to get some of the uh, larger ones? <laughs> that is what you should do with your friends, okay? Or with the people that you're listening to. Even with your own relatives. Because even if we are blood-related, th that doesn't mean that people will be, you know, like um, a very concerned about us. Sometimes, you know, the the very people that's close to us, they're the one who's been, like, you know, acting like, uh, what do you call this, like, um, termites, okay? Now, what you need to learn about your dreams and ambitions, you need to heal. You know, Scorpio, I've been getting a lot of money from you. I mean, for this reading, by the way, single Scorpios, you're going to have a very good and flourishing end of the year. Okay, I'm getting a lot of money, I'm getting a lot of success, and I'm getting a lot of achievements. So good for you, okay? Especially for those who just uh, got newly singles, so... Now, here's the thing. You already have what you want. You already achieved your dreams, and the popularity... The achievement and uh, the success to your job, you know, could be that you just acquired a new house and you feel so happy about it. So I feel like that you, you know, like um, you're in a very stable state right now. Now be very careful with those people that you will be paying attention to or that you will be giving help or that you'll be helping. Know to yourself, if you have something... Or if you don't have anything right now, or if you're not really that successful, and you can't give anything or share anything, let's just say, do you think that these people will still be coming to you? And do you think that these people will still be recognizing you? And, you know, um, it is also better if you're, if you're not going to put out much of your life out there. Especially in the social media. Um, I know that you love, you know, having the uh, feedbacks and praises of other people. But not all people who sees in the social media, especially if you're being happy, happily in love, happily married, happy with your success and everything. Some people could actually throw some ill wishes your way. And that is the, the reason why sometimes you feel like, why is it that sometimes I feel like I'm cursed? Why is it that sometimes I feel like someone is uh, doing something to me? Because sometimes when some people, because of their envy and wrath and their, you know, their um, jealousy really turns up the peak. So, it, you know, when they say something, you know, it sometimes it happens. Okay, so try to, to be try to be discreet with your life. Try to be discreet with your success and everything. Put them in the right channel, put them in the right medium, and put them in the right place and the right people, because you are attracting the wrong kind of crowd right now. All right, 
Now let's take a look. Your greatest strength and weakness. All right. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? You know, it doesn't actually matter if you only have one, two, or three friends. As in real close friends, as long as they're real. But if they are just, you know, your friend during the fun times, then you can call that friend. Okay, it's only an acquaintance. Alright, it's only the fake friends. <clears throat> and some are just naturally user-friendly. <clears throat> Especially if there is somebody who is um, uh, like a fire sign, and this one is redheaded or redhead, and uh, or you know, um, for some you know, for some areas or for some other people or for some other ethnicities. This person keeps on coloring their hair. Okay? That's the one that's been like spreading gossips around you. And that's the one that's been like um, acting so close and uh, acting like your best friend. But then they're just fishing for some information and spread it out outside of your circle. And then uh, backstab you. Alright. Alright. What's your greatest strength and weakness? Keep going. Now this is your current strength. <coughs> Use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion. Okay? <clears throat> you know, sometimes in life that we... Um, when you actually see somebody... Or when you actually have something that you did not really acquire or that you failed or that you... You know, that it became more of your failure and your spot for your weakness. You, you, you keep on going. You don't dwell on it. You don't just sit in one corner and cry, you know, till, you're, till the time goes by and, uh, you know, like, uh, sulk. It's not, you're overly sensitive, but you are, you know, you know how to keep on going. You know how to keep on moving. And you know how to continue your life, wh whether with this person or not. Okay? So you know how to move on. <clears throat> um, now, how can you actually utilize it? Well, you know how to reflect. You know how to... It's like you know how to... Have your me time. You know how to meditate. How to recuperate. Especially when there's like a very painful and, you know, dark situation that you've been in. To block out distractions, spend quiet time alone so that you can focus on your priorities. You try to regain yourself back. It's like you are um, <clears throat> self-healing and self-reconstructing. Okay, that is what you actually do in this. Are your great, one of your greatest strengths. Okay. Now, where will it lead you? Having a new vision. Having something different. Like, <clears throat> if somebody hurt you in the past, and you feel like, so what? Life goes on. You know, I'm not going to die with or without that person. You know, I can survive, you know? So, you will be creating a new vision. You'll be creating something new. You'll be changing your dreams. If you're only happy before with having a house, now you will be making it this. I want a bigger house. You know, if before you only want to travel to one place, you will say, I want to travel to the entire world. Each and every pain, it actually leads you to much better dreams. Okay? It leads you to much better vision. It leads you to much better um, goals and targets. And that's, that is how you create your vision board. You know, create a board with images and words that inspire you. You recreate yourself. You reinvent yourself. Mm 
now. What are the strengths that you need to develop? Well, actually, you're a good PR. In fact, that you're very popular to your group. You're a good PR. And you're a good promoter. You're good in spreading the word. You know, whether it's just gossip or like business. But when it comes to business, you're really, mm, you are the big asset. You know, you're the big apple. <clears throat> but, when it comes to yourself, you know, you need to be more out there. Of course, you know, you, all, you already know how to advertise yourself. You're, because you're, you know, people are the one who flock down to your doorstep. And you're, you know, you're so flattered with that uh, and with their attention. But... You can reach more people by working with the video, audio, print, and online media. Okay? So when you keep on posting things about your life in social media right now, you can also team that by posting some more about your future projects. The things that you need to keep on going could be that if you're in sales, especially, you can also post that and then uh, keep on, you know, um, um, convincing people about the things that they, uh, you know, um, if they should avail it or not. So here's the thing. If those people around you who really loves you, you know, or who really um, admires you, then you can actually turn that negative energy into something good and something more, um, well, business-wise and economical as well, you know, like you will be gathering them, you'll be throwing like a slumber party, and then you will be talking about business, you'll be talking about work and stuff like that, instead of them, you know, fishing for for your life and fishing for the information, like personal information, and then they're going to be spreading it outside. So it turned out into something positive, okay? Um, I feel like some of you will also try and get involved in some business activities or in some, you know, um, being independent for the next few months. And you can actually use those people, you know, to spread the word for you. Since that they love you and they, uh, you know, like um, they're following you and you really seem to be very popular. So you can turn yourself into a Pied Piper, you know. Now, what is your greatest weakness? Now, this is your current weakness, okay? Learning and teaching are part of your higher calling. You love teaching people what they know, or sorry, what they don't know yet. Things that they know about life, things that they should know about their vocation or, you know, the, uh, the things that they want to study. And some of you are good teachers, you know? Um, you love helping people when it comes to educating them, all right? But some people just take advantage of you. They just take your knowledge, and then when they already know everything that you know, they're just going to take off and create their own center, create their own name, and then they're just going to say, like, I'm the original, okay? Um... I don't feel like this is your. I, I don't feel like this is a weakness. It, it, in fact, this is an asset. But it's like you all. You need to control the things that you'll be teaching to other people, so that they you won't be creating your own enemy, or so that you won't be creating your own competitor. Okay. Now, what will help you to overcome it? Divine guidance. The ideas you are receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers. So the thing here is, the ideas that comes flooding inside your head and the ideas that you are manifesting, it is actually inane, okay? It is actually right within you. And even if these people learn some things from you, they cannot get this natural abilities, this natural gift that is being laid upon you or that is being presented to you, okay? Because this is you. And... This is your new direction. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. You need to sleep. You know, when you were younger, you hate sleeping. When, you're, uh, when your mother puts you in the siesta. But then, now that you're already an adult, having the right kind of sleep 
as in sleeping like full straight hours of let's say eight hours six hours that's already good to you or that's already like you know rare so you need to nurture yourself even though you've been working so hard even though you're so successful right now and even though there are a lot of things that you really need to do because you're always busy but you shouldn't for you know you shouldn't actually forget how to take care of yourself and how to nurture yourself because you need your body okay you need to be healthy now let's take a look how did I find love? You know, some people from the other zodiac signs that I've already done, um, when I actually hit something that is true, they become so defensive and instead of being thankful to the, you know, to the messages that I do convey to them, they became so bitter and, you know, like, um, very, uh, what do you call this, in denial, okay? So, you know what, I don't really, uh, I'm not really bothered by some of those, but when you actually react to something, especially if you get bitter or defensive or, you know, something like that, it only goes to show that it's true. <laughs> okay, you only show the truth. What's important is that I... Um, I focus more on those people who are grateful, who are matured, open-minded, and open-hearted, you know, with the things that they, um, that they accept and they listen to. That is, you know, those are the people that I really appreciate. So, let's take a look. Ooh. Looks like it's not really advisable for you to find love right now. <laughs> um, you know, you being successful is like a blessing and curse at the same time. Be very careful with somebody who is around late 30s, early 40s. You know, and... Uh, yeah late 30s early 40s um that is an earth sign this is way younger you know or what regardless of your age right now this is a younger earth sign okay and this person will only be attracted to you and this person will only be attracted to your success and not to you but they're gonna make it appear that uh, they really want you they love you and stuff like that you know, you should just enjoy your life right now because I feel like you'll be attracting the wrong kind of energy. And then you will just end up cutting off this person because you will know that they are not really for real or that there is something wrong with them. Now, you will be meeting this person during the last half of September down to first half of October, okay? You need to be a little bit more stronger because your destiny is coming soon, but not in the next not in this month not but not the next month now when will you find the right one well right after getting hurt with this fellow you'll be starting all over again oh after being hurt and you know you'll be a little bit defensive there goes the right one that you will be meeting while you are traveling. And this person is the one who will be paying attention to you. And they will be coming to you during at your lowest times. Okay, or during at your worst. If this younger earth sign will have you during your best times, 
Is this water sign? Younger water sign will be around you during your worst times, and they're the one who'll be fixing you, making you whole again, making you smile again, making you believe that love is still worth believing, and that you should still have more faith. Okay? Now, I feel like you will be getting involved with this younger earth sign because they're charming, they're convincing, they're a sweet talker. Okay? And they seem to be kind of ambitious. So, I feel like they're, you know, <clears throat> if this is younger, okay? But if it's actually older, it can be a help to you. But um, if you'll be meeting somebody that is younger than you, three or five years younger than you, then that's a disaster, okay? And um, right after getting so brokenhearted and feeling so, like, you know, feeling so jaded again... You will be traveling and starting something on your own. And while you are not really looking for love, while you are not even interested in looking for somebody, you know, there goes this knight in shining armor. Alright? And it seems like they're the one who will be giving you the strength that you need. And they will also be listening to you and in fact that you will be crying on them. You know, imagine that you're crying on a stranger, listening to your heartbreaks and listening to your frustrations in life. So, they're not going to be judgmental. In fact, they're going to find you cute. And, um... The two of you will get close. And it seems like we're with wherever you are right now, this person is coming to you. They're the one who will keep on coming to see you. You know? So, this is good. And this will happen around the month of November. Okay. So, the other person that you will be meeting uh, during the time of September, October, it's just a very short-lived. And then... Actually, you're not going to get hurt because of the person. You're going to get hurt because of yourself. You know, because of the way you judge people or the, the, the way you... You know, you see people as being so positive and very close to you. And then you'll be so disappointed with yourself. So, I don't feel like you're going to be crying over because of this guy. You're going to be crying because of your own judgment. Alright? So, and there's a possibility of this new guy, the, the water sign, not the earth sign, to be long term. Okay? Now... Your priorities right now. You have high ambitions. This is your main priority right now. This is what's blocking you. Being surrounded by a lot of people. <sighs> Indulgence. Things that you need to change. Your faith. Things that you need to accept. And how things will be progressing. Ah, from darkness to light. Good. Good. These are your other priorities. Finding the right kind of love. Alright, so you have high ambitions right now. You you never stop climbing. It's like you're, you know, you're almost like a Capricorn. But um, you never stop dreaming. You have high ambitions, high goals, high aspirations. And you have high dreams. And you tend to really reach, you know, all of this. And you tend to, you know, like achieve. Yet somehow when you actually, it's like fly, your dreams, it's like flying a kite. No matter how high, no matter how, you know, like how far it'll, it will be from you. There will always be a string that you can pull or just cut off. Okay, and when you cut off the strings, then that kite will be flying along with your dreams. So there are some things that you need to reconsider. Is it really, um, are your dreams practical and permanent? Or are your dreams realistic and, uh, sorry, 
are your dreams um, practical and temporary or are your dreams realistic but permanent all right now this is your main blockage being surrounded by a lot of people you know actually in a, you know if you're into sales or business or networking this is gonna be a very good you know thing or this is going to be a very good uh, medium, you know, having a lot of people, having your own groups. And if you can just fill up the entire stadium with your with all of your friends, then good. You know, you can also be a marketing and PR. But sometimes this is also what ruins you. And this is also what distracts you. Okay, having the wrong kind of connection. Don't cut them off because you can still use them later on. But um, try to choose who are you going to be hanging out with. Okay, now, there's things that you need to change, overindulgence, like drinking, partying, food binging, um, you know, um, like uh, staying too late at night, uh, clubbing, and stuff like that. These are the things that you really need to curve down right now, because you need to focus more on yourself. You're not getting any younger, time is passing you by, and clock is ticking, all right? And the things that you need to accept. You need to have some more faith. And don't be so afraid that when you make a decision, it will never be heard. Because you are guided and protected. And someone is really listening to everything that you are ruining. And to everything that you are venting out. Even though you can't feel them. You can't see them. Although, you can, I feel like you can see them in your dreams. Because they will be throwing you some symbols and signs. But I feel like this is, you know... Um, this is something that you need to reconsider. Re you need to reconstruct your faith and belief. Okay, so what's going to be coming out from this and how things will progress? From light to dark, uh, sorry, from darkness to light. Okay, if you've been through a lot of disappointments, disappointments in love, disappointments in friends, in, in relatives, and family, personal, and whatever it is, things will finally be coming into, like there's a new glint of hope. A new glint of light, answer, okay, and solution to your problems. And it seems like you will finally be enjoying your life and those weeping days. And uh, the pile of tissues will finally be wiped off. And you, you know, you will only be like um, running free and enjoying your life, okay? Stop wallowing that's built. That's the key. All right? And keep on enjoying your life. And you'll be enjoying much greeneries and uh, flourishing, abundance, prosperity, achievement. And, you know, and um, a new love that's going to be coming your way. Hmm. So these are your other priorities. Well, having the right kind of love and having good communications to others improving your communications as well because you know you're a you're actually a good marketing medium and having the right kind of love waiting for the right one when will your soulmate be sent out by the universe you know and um it seems like you're just waiting for the right kind of love for you to really enjoy your life and um you know, for some of you who's been in a very fast-paced achievement and success in your career, once you finally found the one, things will be a little bit slowed down, okay? Because you have to choose one. And for you to keep on educating and for you to teach, you know, other people, well, with the right kind of people that you know... Um, one more thing is that you also need to teach them how to be a little bit more humble and uh, grateful, you know? So don't try to create a monster of the future or a monster of tomorrow. You can actually create the assets and the new educators and the new, you know, um, professionals of tomorrow with, with your help. Okay, so you don't forget to add it up into your lesson plan, you know? Well, I'm not saying that necessarily you should be a teacher, but um, you can educate some people or you can also lead them to share your knowledge with okay, or experiences. All right, that's it for you for this Retrograde Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.